Ahoy mates, I am the River Pirate. Welcome to my channel, the River Pirate 13. Please stab that subscribe button. Today we're going to re review a balcony cabin, number 6418 on the Carnival Freedom. So, hold fast. <laughs> Again, I'm the River Pirate. We're going to do a quick wrap, uh, cabin review of this uh, balcony cabin. Uh, we're on port side aft. So uh, let's go in and check it out. All right, let me put my key card in there. All right, flip on a light here. All right, let me get get a position here to do this video. So, I'm on the Carnival Freedom on a five-day cruise to the Dominican Republic and uh, Grand Turk. So I booked this cabin <clears throat> mainly because I've booked this cabin before in the same location on different ships, and it works out great. And you say, River Pirate, why... Why deck six and why toward the aft? Because I only have to go down one deck and I'm in the Lido deck and I'm standing literally in front of the alchemy bar. And I can walk the whole promenade all the way forward from that spot. Also, if I go up three decks, I'm on the Lido deck and I can get um, right to... All of the tasty food that you can get on the Lido deck, uh, especially the breakfast burritos. And if I continue to go up a, a couple more decks, I'm on the uh, jogging track. So it's perfect. The only thing that is a long way away would be the spa and the workout room. But other than that, um, everything is easy to get to. It makes it a cinch. Uh, again, deck six. One deck down, you're on the promenade. I love it. All right, let's take a look at this uh, cabin real quick. All right, looks like the typical standard carnival cabin um, on these uh, Conquest class ships, also once upon a time known as Super Destiny class ships. Um, one thing about the these um, the head, I guess, because we're on a ship. Uh, pretty standard for Carnival. There's nothing remarkable about this one. It's it's fairly nice, pretty clean. Um, they like to do these pictures. I, I kind of like that in the in the uh, on the head that I um, they're different for every different one. And you've got this line here for you know clothes that you need to hang dry, wet clothes. It's not a particularly large shower area, um, but if you get a perspective, I can stand in it. And I can put my arms out, and it's I'm so I'd, still, I'd be just touching the, the curtain. So it's not not terrible, not terrible at all. So that you see it. There we are. So do I like these? This one? Yeah. I mean, I wish it were a little bit bigger, but it's not small by any means. So I, I've been in smaller um, uh, cabins. I mean, cabins with smaller sh uh, shower um, shower and bathrooms on them. So or heads, as you call them on a ship. All right, and here we go. This is the, I haven't finished unpacking, but you get lots and lots of closet space to hang things. And there are the um, light preservers that <clears throat> you get to learn how to put on, but you never want to have to put one on. So I feel like putting one on just to say I put one on, but I don't know. And, and the instructions are here on the back of the door, so... You can't screw that up too bad. And this is kind of where we're at on the, on the ship. So, all right, let's go to the next closet. And as you can see, it's pretty roomy. They got extra bedding down here. Not bad there. Um, the light, lots of light in here. There's no shortage of light in this cabin. Um, get some extra drawers, hair dryer, 
um, you've got your refrigerator down here, which is pretty, mini fridge is pretty, pretty great. You can uh, fit a lot of um, good size. I mean, this, this beer here is probably, a, you know, 16 ounce or so, and it fits perfectly fine in here. All right, and then we go up here, we get a safe. You got your TV screen, which is very small, and this is starting to look, this is starting to make the ship look dated with these tiny flat screens. Um, maybe, uh, maybe on the, it's a uh, dry dock next year, they'll upgrade it. Now, the artwork, it looks very nice. I do like that. They leave you, uh, they give you a nice couch, size couch, table. The bed here is pretty decent sized. Um, Overall, very nice cabin. But that's not why you get a balcony cabin. You get a balcony cabin because of this. And I gotta unlock it first. Hang on. Let's keep it cool. And as far as balconies go, it's uh, it's actually smaller than the one we had on the last ship we were on. Uh, but plenty of room for two people. Uh, three would be a crowd. Um, as you look out, we're sailing out of uh, Port Canaveral, and you can see the front of the ship. And if I look out, you can see Cape Canaveral with all the rocket buildings and everything. And then we come out this way, and you can see the freighters and the storage. So, <clears throat> what do I think of? This cabin, 6418 on the Carnival Freedom, it, it, it's just like every other Carnival balcony cabin, standard size. There's just nothing remarkable about it, uh, but it's the way to go. Um, there is nothing better than to sit out on this balcony and enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning and watch the sunrise or sunset, I mean, in the evening with a, a wine. Oh, it's great. So, with that, that's the end of this Carnival Freedom Balcony Cabin Review. I, um, if you're considering back, uh, about, uh, taking a cruise, this is the way to go. With that, Shafar.